Almost burnt towns to ashes. Abominations ravaged the battlefields. Men and women were torn apart with the snap of a finger. Hej, witam wszystkich bardzo serdecznie i zapraszam was na kontynuację naszych przygód w Spellforce 3. Dobra koleś, idziesz? No bez yes. Yes. All right. Take him down. Yeah! They're strangely zaczepliwi, są. Ten moc jest ukończony, jest. Gdzie ty jesteś, koleś? No, ciśniesz, ciśniesz, bo trzeba to założyć. Take them down for the crown. Of course. Charge! For the no, co za babsko. We're being attacked. No, i tu możemy w końcu to zbudować. They will fall. We're being attacked. Will do. Orders? Hmm? Is it to put shit in? We're being attacked. Rudno. To jest trochę najwyżej stracę. Kolerne pajęczaki, no. Jeszcze jeden tu się uchował. Mm -hmm. 
Building complete. Dobra. Need something? Wilki nas kurde do, dopadły, no. Of course, let's go. Elfy, wilki, kurde, wszystko, no. Our provisions are running low. We need more food. Do roboty. Zaczynamy produkować kamień. Jest. Dobra, trzymać się tu. Co za koleś, no. Kamienia potrzebuję, tak? Znaczy mamy dwa. Dosyć, dosyć powoli się to produkuje. What's next? Take them down. You read my mind. Stay alert. I. Robić im krzywdę. Pięknie. All right. Dobra, mamy to. Say the word. Okay. Jednostki się tutaj tworzą. Cały czas i bardzo ładnie. Zobacz, ten jeden kamień jest mi potrzebny i będziemy dać wieżę. Że zbudujemy ją sobie tutaj. Hmm. Oni tutaj cały czas atakują tędy. Zbudujemy drugą w razie czego. Need something? Idą 
gdzie z dechami. Ok, jeszcze kamień będzie potrzebny. I'm ready. Okay. Building completed. Palis tam w nich. We're being attacked. No, tu się wam zachciało, co? Elves, be wary. Dobra, atakujemy. Dobra, robić rozwałkę. Czyć. Ja. Że jak koleś się rusza, to tak nie za bardzo się da. Niszczyć to. Take them down. Commander. Charge. I guess. Good choice. Zdajemy tutaj coś swojego. Dobra, wszystkie ich budynki zostają od razu zniszczone. I bardzo ładnie. Dobra, tu jeszcze by się trzeba było dostać. down the squire hasn't come out of hiding so you bastard don't say I didn't warn you
Pięknie, załatwiliśmy to bocko. Salanga! This isn't over. Gone. Damn it. It's over. What about the scryer? We'll get her. Talk to us, woman. What happened here? Are... are you... Sent by the queen. Now talk. We... What was that? Elves. They must have gotten reinforcements. Blazes. Karpel, Tahar, return to the outpost at once. They need someone to lead the defenses. Understood. What about the village? Anselm and I will guard it. The rest of the wolf guard should arrive any second now. We will just have to hold the village until then. Now move. All right, Tahar, let's move. Back to okay. the outpost and quick. Say the word. Dobra. Trzeba ich tu powstrzymać jak najszybciej. We lost the sector, Commander. Bywa. Dobra, idą ich posiłki. Gazu, gazu, gazu. Nie mogą tego zniszczyć. Jest tej cholery nasze oddziały. No wy tędy żeście poszli. Tu! O, udało nam się balista zaskoczyć dzięki temu. Pogadajmy z typem. O coś tu przybył. Please, I, I give up. All that we, we didn't want any of it. You should have thought of that before you attacked us. Yes, I know. Scryer Elian told us about you, about the reason you're here and your disagreement. That's one way to put it. Your people opened fire on us. Yes, and they shouldn't have. Elion, she got scared. They'd been in that village, surrounded by corpses for almost a moon's turn now, and my troops should have arrived days ago. She had her orders, you know, to protect the village. It was never our intention to start a war. Hmm. Whatever your intentions, this is Nortander territory. Capturing a village, invading our lands, this is an act of war. I know, but the situation required that we acted quickly. And given recent developments in your country, we could not take the risk of you denying us entry. Recent developments? Yes, the purity of light and their persecution of mages. Do not misunderstand, but especially to us as elves, who are almost all magically gifted, <sighs> We just don't understand why Lord Marshal Arendir just lets them do as they please. And that justifies breaking a century-old treaty between our races? <laughs> That's some strange reasoning. Hmm. I get your concerns. That's a relief. I was beginning to fear all of Nortander had lost their minds. Either way, this is a different topic. It is. If it wasn't your intention to start a war, then what was it? Why did you come here? For the same reason you're here. 
The Bloodburn. The Moorhear Elves have been struck by it too. At least we believe so. Hmm. A, no ale ja, słuchajcie, jakby nie było, no to kurde naruszyli granicę, no i doszło do... To zostali w pieprz. Zresztą tak jak miało być. You believe so? Yes. There's discussion about that going on in Leafshade as we speak. Suffice it to say that the symptoms of the bloodburn seem to be different for elves than they are for humans. That's interesting. So you're here to what? To examine it? Yes. We are here to study an outbreak firsthand. And you aren't afraid? How do you protect yourselves against an infection? We don't. You see, that's one of the many misconceptions you humans have about the bloodburn. It's not an ordinary disease, as your Lord Marshal believes, and thus it's not contagious. You could ask a dying woman for a dance and it would not affect you. How can you be so certain? Just observe the pattern. It can wipe out an entire village, but the one a mile south of it remains unaffected, even if the wind is blowing in their direction. And for some reason, it may take a strong man of 30 winters and spare his grandmother. Where's the logic in that? Maybe we just haven't understood the pattern yet. If you think it's contagious, you must have brought some protection, didn't you? What was it, a potion? Yes. Please show me. Here. Sorry, Tahar, but I want to see this. <laughs> Just as I suspected. Watch. What the? What are you doing? You're drinking it. Yes, because it's just fire nettle extract, nothing else. Your medicine is completely useless, and whoever brewed it knew that. Please, I beg you. You need to believe me. The bloodburn isn't an ordinary plague. Then what is it? This is what we're trying to find out. But as of now, we believe it to be a curse of sorts. One originating from a very ancient, unknown kind of magic. So this is it, Evran. The truth. We are here to understand. Hmm. And it's to, że ta, że ta cholerna chorobsko nie jest normalną zarazą. Someone told me you arrived here several days before the outbreak. And to you, that looks suspicious. I understand. But believe me, we didn't cause it. What reason would we have? We knew it would happen in Leonon because we learned that there are certain... signs before it happens. Such as odd noises? So you know. Yes, odd noises. Or even a voice, as some have claimed. Strangely enough, not everyone can hear them. And hearing also does not necessarily protect from the infection. All this... it's a mystery. Huh. In other words, you knew an outbreak in Leonon was imminent and decided to come here to observe it. Yes. We also hoped to help, but none of the remedies we had prepared worked. It was tragic and got under our skins. Which is probably one of the reasons why Elian was already on edge when you got here. I still don't understand, though. Why didn't your scryer let us in? Isn't it obvious? Because she wanted to prevent you from carrying out that order. What order? To examine the bloodburn? Oh. I see. Your general. I'm afraid he didn't fill you in on your true orders. The village is to be purged. Every survivor, children, women, elders, will be killed. The Crown believes this is what it takes to prevent the bloodburn from spreading to Greyfell. Hmm. Want to wish. <sighs> this is ridiculous. How in blazes would you know? Can't you guess? We have ears in Grey Keep, as you probably have in Leafshade. Then we need to stop him. I was hoping you would say that. I would help you if I could, but given what's happened, I doubt my presence would help. In other words, it's in your hands now. We will withdraw our people until dawn. Farewell, Evran. And thank you for sparing me. Okay. Chyba mi się teraz spotkać z Anselmem. Eee, dobra, słuchajcie, sporo żeśmy się dowiedzieli. Naprawdę sporo żeśmy się dowiedzieli. Na temat tego wszystkiego. Na to, że Korona o tym wiedziała mm -hmm. i że Richard, to może być... Co make of this? Of what that elf just told us? Yeah. Oh, honestly, no idea. I don't think he's lying, but that doesn't mean they're right. 
Especially not that part about our orders. And if they are, what should we do? <sighs> I don't know. We can't refuse an order, can we? You know, that would make us deserters. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. E, sam nie wiem, co o tym myśleć do końca. E, słuchajcie, sytuacja wygląda tak, że no nie wiadomo do końca, co to jest ta zaraza. E, całkiem możliwe, że to jest wszystko zamierzone, żeby oczyścić, e, w cudzysłowie, oczyścić ten e, świat e, z magów i tym podobnych stworzeń. No, tak, tak myślę, tak myślę. E, dobra, słuchajcie, musimy ruszać do Anzelma teraz. A więc zobaczymy, co on ma nam do powiedzenia. Dobrze, moi drodzy, tutaj w tym miejscu kończymy ten odcinek. Mam nadzieję, że ten materiał Wam się podobał. Dziękuję Wam za wszystkie Wasze komentarze, oceny oraz subskrypcje. I dziękuję Wam za Waszą uwagę. Cześć.